amazing people and welcome to a very special Pixelmon Ranger update! I have some rather interesting news to share with you guys. So, I know so many of you are really into Pixelmon Ranger, you are totally in love with it, you love seeing the series grow, you love seeing that we're finally starting to catch Pokemon and do things with them, and I have got some rather sad news. The server that we were playing on, Twitchelmon, and totally big huge props and thank you so much to Mac because he threw himself into trying to get the server and everything working and we were just trying to play with too many mods that didn't want to play nicely together so unfortunately the Twitchelmon server blew up um, and just wouldn't let us on anymore. I caught our very first Pokemon, well our second Pokemon since we had Daisy Leaf and it decided to corrupt my data within the server and nothing we could do except for literally deleting every scrap of evidence that I had ever been on the server could fix it. But you know what? Mac and I talked about it and we decided that we're going to be done with working on the Pixelmon server together. He's working on another amazing project that we're going to work on together instead. And I'm very excited to announce that that means that I've got a little bit more freedom to really tackle the Pixelmon Ranger series in a way that I wanted to from the beginning. And I'm going to show you guys what that means, so don't panic. Pixelmon Ranger is not over. I actually feel like the third time is the charm. And this time I'm going to be able to take the series where I really wanted to in the first place. We've slimmed down on mods, we're only using a very small handful of amazing mods right now, but we're using Biomes of Plenty, we're obviously using, as we can tell, surrounded by so many amazing plants. Whoa, and there's a Pidgey in my face. Hello little one! Oh, that's so cool! We are using the latest release of the Pixelmon mod, we are using Plant Mega Pack. that's all the plants. We are using Pam's Harvest Craft, Carpenter's Block, um, we're gonna add the Backpack mod, because I love my backpacks. And, oop, oh, a Pidgeotto, look at that flying over my head. And quite a few other awesome mods. So I'm going to be setting up a new Pixelmon Ranger town and a new series, but this time we're actually going to be able to pursue my overall goal. And that is, as a Pixelmon Ranger, we are going to go out and we are gonna go catch Pokemon from all over the world, and we're going to build exhibits and safari zones for them. The Safari Zones will be built specifically tailored to their needs, so basically guys, it's going to be a Pokemon Zoo, and we are going to be able to catch those Pokemon and put them into the exhibits thanks to the amazing, amazing Nops, you are awesome, amazing custom NPC mod that we are going to be using as well. So, let me show you guys what that means. Do do do, NPC, so basically, Daisy Leaf who is currently a level 5 to create it yet again. And yes, I'm in creative mode because we are working on building our new town. This is going to be the layout of the town. And actually, this update is to let you guys know that I want your guys' input. Wow, look at this. We're flying with this Pichotto. And by the way, do you notice something? There's no lag! I'm so excited about that. So we should have no lag, much better output. Look at that. We've got this volcano this volcano behind town, and if you get close to the volcano, look, there's beautiful aquatic plants growing all over the place, and if you get close, you can see some Pidgey and Pidgeotto and things, but then you get the fire Pokemon are nearby too, the Growlithe. Uh, there's some Zubats, let's see, and I saw, I saw some other fire-based Pokemon around this volcano. <gasps> look, a Vulpix! See what I mean? Very cool. So we're using Biomes of Plenty now, so we can have quite the variety in what we can find. Uh, we are going to be having our little Pokemon spawn town right down here. And actually, I wanted to invite you guys in. Look at that guy. <gasps> so cool. Oh, hey, there's one of the uh, boss, the boss executors. You see a lot of those guys around here, too. But I wanted to invite you guys in at the very beginning to let you know that, yeah, the server blew up, so we won't be able to continue our work there. But I'm pretty excited because we are going to finally actually make real... Whoop, they're having a battle down there. That's so cool. Oh, he's a tiny little, tiny little guy trying to battle that big one. Maybe he stepped on him. Oh, there he goes. He got stepped on. <laughs> But we're going to make the real Pixelmon Ranger series that I've always dreamed of, which basically means we're going to build a town here where we will trade with NPCs so we're not going to have to get caught up in the survival aspect of things. We can do tasks around town, we can bring specimens, we can trade items and resources among the NPCs that will be here, and we'll be able to get the Pokeballs um, and other items, like the healing items. I'm going to build a Pokemart right there. We'll build our own little, like... Pokemon Healing Center. You can see glimpses of like 
a magic forest over there. There's a, a temperate rainforest over there. It's really beautiful here. But we're gonna build up our town and I wanted to invite you guys in at the beginning so if you have any ideas, you can provide them. Because with the NPCs, we're gonna, we can probably get away with doing what we do in the zoo crafting series where I can add you guys and one of your Pokemon as your partner in this world because this version of the NPC mod will actually, is actually key to what we're going to be doing. So as a Pokemon Ranger, we will go out and we will go catch some Pokemon and then we will bring the Pokemon back. And how that's gonna work is that we will put that Pokemon into a biome and we'll do that by creating an exhibit for them. And it'll be like the Safari Zone or the exhibit for the Pokemon that we captured. And then how do you get the Pokemon from the Pokeball into the exhibit? Well, we will put the Pokeball away and we'll just say that that's like the Pokemon is now released into the exhibit, so we don't touch the Pokeball that has the literal Pokemon, and we will use an NPC to stand in for the Pokemon that we caught. And we can now use, in fact, let me show you guys. Nope, we don't want texture, don't want player, we want model. We can now use this amazing thing to come through and find, let me dig them out. Let's see, Enderman, Entity Gas, Mushroom, NPC Dragon, Pony, Slime, the Ozzelot, Pigment, there we go, the Pixelmon. So, say, I know I'm not making a lot of sense, but basically what we do is we will go out as Pokemon Rangers, we will catch Pokemon, and we will bring them back to exhibits that we build, just like Pokemon Zoo. We'll call them Safari Zones, though, and they'll each have, like, different themes in them. So, we'll go out and we will catch... Well, well, you know, let's see, like a, a horsea. Like a horsea is just jumping around. And we'll go and we'll catch one in the water. And then we'll take it back to an aquarium zone or an aquarium uh, exhibit. And we'll bring it back and go, yay, we've got the little one. And then it can be like horsey. I think, I can't rem yeah, horsea. Yeah, there we go. Horsea. And there you go. See, now you've got the little horsea. And it's very cute and we can set it to swim around we can set it to move we can set it to say things because we can go into like it can it could trade if we wanted <laughs> we can set it to say things we can set it to move we can set it to um drop random items if we wanted to so what we can do is we can like go and catch a whole bunch of the the cow pokemon <laughs> yes the mill tanks there we go and we could start our own little mill tank farm and then you can come up to the the mill tanks and you could like trade them wheat for a bucket of milk or something like that so there's a lot of potential that we can do and then we can also have say like just a good old steve he's hanging out here and he is running around and this is his pokemon and they can talk to each other we can set up little dialogue lines so that they're buddies and friends you can trade things to him so that he can have like he might trade items to you in return for you making cake that his pokemon really likes or bringing him some food for his pokemon so just like our zoo crafting series we'll be able to add in the npcs so that we can have stories we can build up the economy we can have a living vibrant world here it's a beautiful Beautiful world to explore. This is the latest in the 1.7.1 uh, Biomes of Plenty mod. We are using the Son of Psyduck uh, plugin for Pixelmon so that all of the Pixelmon spawn correctly in the Biomes of Plenty mods. Or uh, biomes, I mean. And basically, we're just going to have a great time. Uh, as a ranger, we will now be able to actually go out, catch that wild Kadabra, and then we can put an NPC that represents that Kadabra into a zone, like I keep saying, and just tuck the Pokeball that actually has the Kadabra somewhere, somewhere else. And then we can always remove the NPC if we want to add that animal, that Pokemon, back into our team. We can always remove the NPC, go get the Pokeball, go train them, come back, and then maybe now that NPC that we return is leveled up, has more skills, might drop new items, uh, is bigger, physically bigger, because we can alter the size of the Pokemon. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and I just wanted to invite you guys in so you could hear the plans, not panic, because yes, it sucks so much that we lost the server and all that progress. I loved that ranger station and the storylines we were building, but to be 
be honest, this is much more in line with what I would have always wanted to do. And it will mean that the entire series is much more focused on building exhibits for Pokemon and on catching as many Pokemon as possible. Because we're going to head out, we're going to have the town to help us so that we're not caught up in trying to do... Like, the, the Pokeballs take forever to make, and it's supposed to slow you down, but we're going to play a little differently, so we'll have a Pokemart. We can have this awesome old man or old woman who we talk to and trade the apricorns to and from an NPC, and they give us Pokeballs and things like that. You know, we can get that set up. And maybe eventually we could even invite some friends to come and play with us, but it would just be a great adventure just for us to head out to do research in the different biomes. Like, what the heck is that? I haven't been over there yet, so I'm excited. To do research in the different biomes and see what kind of Pokemon spawn where. To explore, this is the latest in the Plant Mega Pack. In fact, it just updated today, so I will be updating the Plant Mega Pack plant uh, mod again and there's aquatic crops i'm so excited because this is a version ahead of where we are on our zoo crafting series so this will be really fun i am really really looking forward to being able to make the exhibits uh filled with pokemon it'll encourage us to go and catch as many pokemon as we possibly want we can build lots of different towns we can do a lot of exploring and this is basically another way where we can use the npcs in the future to have you guys apply as Pokemon Rangers and you could be like people who, who own the stores and we trade with and you can have your own Pokemon buddy who we talk to and talks to you and it could just be really fun. So that's the plan. I have to do a ton of building. It might be a little bit before the series is back up on its feet, but I also wanted to know if you guys want in on the building. If you want to see some behind the scenes Pixelmon Ranger stuff as we build this little town up, you can suggest shop ideas, shop names, uh, fun names for the items that we sell in the shops. We could start coming up with some sort of theme for this town. So if you guys want in on that, we can do that and I could do some uh, time lapse builds so I could I could get my camera account set up here and you guys could watch as I build the Pokemart. So like here I'm building the Pokemart and you could have you could have like a bird's eye view of watching as it's speed built. I know a lot of you really love those kinds of things. Oh my gosh look at the cute little baby. Oh so cute just a baby oh he zipped away. Cute little baby Abra. But I know you guys love a lot of those things being able to see speed builds and things like that, time lapses. Um and I want to, I, like I said, I want to invite you in on being able to help me name what the town is. I don't have a name for this town yet. Come up with ideas for, like, if we have some residential houses, if we have, like, a little farm area, what the apricorn growing house looks like, and if they have, like, pokeballs. You know, things like that. I want to invite you guys in because this is going to be a world that we build. And then we'll, like, build the ranger station back here, I'm thinking, where this path is headed. And... There we go. Oh, there's a fight down there. Lots of these egg guys. See, it's going to be so much fun to do this exploring in this world. It's going to be really awesome. But I'm thinking of setting up the P Pokemon Ranger Station right there. And then we can start setting up like zones and areas where we'll go, okay, this is going to be the exhibit for <laughs> the executors. <laughs> or this is going to be the exhibit. Like we can build a, a cool cave exhibit for the Zubat that we catch and release them as NPCs there who fly around and stay in that area. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. Any input you guys want to provide is much appreciated because we are at the infancy, the beginning of this series. Like I said, it's going to take me a little while to physically build the town up. So if you guys want me to do like a behind the scenes sort of thing, so you guys can watch as the town's being built, you can put in names. We might do little like raffles for like another one of the, the random things where you can enter your name if you want to be one of the- Oh my gosh, look how tiny that one is! If you want to be like one of the shopkeepers, that execute is so cute. Oh, it's so cute. But yeah, if you want to be one of the shopkeepers, or maybe we'll have a gym here that we could build. So this could be a lot of fun, and I really look forward to sharing it with you guys. I've rambled on long enough, long and short of it. The Twitchamon server has bit the dust. Bit the dust! And we are back here with new mods, a brand new world, and I'm actually very excited because I think that this is going to be the true Pixelmon Ranger, what we have really been shooting for all along. 
<laughs> Oops, sorry about that little hiccup. But yes, so I think this is going to be the true Pixelmon Ranger that I've always wanted, where we explore a world that's diverse and beautiful thanks to Plant Mega Pack and Biomes of Plenty, and where we have you guys here as NPCs, trainers, people who can help us run the different areas. Oh my gosh, look at that really cool boss back there. Awesome. Where we can really explore a diverse, pretty amazing world, and where we- Wow, there's something huge back there, guys. Holy days. See what I mean? We'll be able to explore thanks to Biomes of Plenty. We have lots of stuff to look at thanks to Plant Mega Pack. We have lots of stuff to eat thanks to Pam's Harvest Craft. And we will be able to actually go and focus on catching tons of Pokemon thanks to the NPC mod because we will then release them into exhibits and biomes and basically build sort of a Pokemon zoo and research center. It's going to be totally awesome. Can't wait to share it with you guys and let me know what you think. So I will see you guys later. Bye bye